just like an airplane engine. What was it? Today we will try to boost something. These are common electrical appliances. We'll use this powerful auto transformer. We're going to push them to the limit. And we'll see what they can do. We will increase the mains voltage with the help of this. This is a laboratory auto transformer for 3 kilovolt amperes. But that won't be enough. Additionally, we will increase the voltage to 2000 volts using these two microwave transformers. First we will overclock this cool coffee grinder. In order to be able to see what is happening inside, we broke out part of the body. Only the motor is visible here. I turn on our device, as well as a tester for measuring voltage. This is all. Now you will see from the front rows what will happen with this. So here we go. Now we will accelerate it to cosmic revolutions. Something has begun. I hear a buzz. There is rotation. Why so slow? Look, quite weak. It works. Do you hear this sound? This goes to the first space. Wait, how many volts? Oh no. There are only 90 volts, but already such a roar. Now it will be supersonic. How will it roar at elevated levels? Consumption is only two and a half amperes. It's strange that it takes so much. Holy moly, won't it explode? There are only 150, 160. Already 200, 220. Hide everyone, faster. Here is the roar. Do the acceleration. Here is the sound. Holy moly. Speed up. Stronger. I thought it would be quieter. This is maximum? Maximum? Was it the maximum? This thing started buzzing. Horror. Are you talking about a transformer? It started to vibrate. So guys, we've beefed up our overclocking rig a bit. We have added four transformers to maximize power. What do you think? Will the windings burn out in this or tear the case into small pieces? I think it will be either windings or a brush assembly. I think this is the weakest point. So, we are starting. Let's start. Begin. Oh, that sound. It's so exciting. Horror. Are you gasping? This is so scary. Already had 500 volts? Yes. Notice it gets so loud. Very much. It sparkles. It sparkles like crazy. No. Don't turn it off. There's something going on with this. Do you hear that strange sound? It started. Started again. What was that sound? Is it swearing? It was like drinking. Guys, there's a lot of smoke coming out of there. Oh no! Open up the doors. Hurry up and open the door. That's all. Done. We're on fire. It needs to be extinguished. Damn, we need to put it out. Looks like something is on fire. Wait, now we will save it. Don't turn it off. Now we will apply voltage there. Turn it up. Do it again. It never dies. Do you think it's a short circuit? 
Yes, it starts buzzing. Yes, it's a short circuit. In short, we killed it. See what happened to it. The winding burn in this. I saw it. We have dealt with the first one. Let's take it outside because it keeps smoking and smelling really bad. It's horrible. It just overheated. The wrap turned black. And we thought it would be a brush knot. Remember when we argued about which would burn first? That is, the winding burnt all this time? Yes. It is the winding that gives such a pungent smell. Because the brushes are not all worn out. Let's move on to a larger device. Let's see what a regular Electrolux blender can do. Now you will see what he is capable of. Here, using pliers, we will make a hole on the side through which you will see what is happening inside with the motor at such crazy speeds. We'll put a thousand volts on that instead of 220. Done! What a motor! Please note that the windings are very thick, it will be very difficult to burn it. It also has a fan, so it won't overheat for sure. Let's just see how it works first. We turn on the socket. See? It hums and spins very slowly. It started. Began. Do you hear it? Holy moly! The sound is pretty powerful. If the thing flies off from above, it will be very bad. I screwed it on well. It won't unscrew. 250. Only 3 amps. It's very loud. Now we are being evicted from here. Holy moly! Look, something flew off. I saw this. Should I continue? From there, something flew out. Here, as I said, something flew out. Horror, it's just plastic flew out from the inside. It's probably on top. Do you smell this? Most likely on top. Are you scared? Not at all. I even saw you close your eyes. Yeah. Sounds like it's about to explode. I'm sure. Four hundred and fifty, four hundred and fifty, five hundred. There are sparks. And it's very bright. Look. Eight, nine amps, ten amps, eleven amps. Be careful, the current is rising. There is something wrong with this. Don't turn it off. The smoke is gone. Hold it. Look what's happening there. Seven, six, five. It's okay, but more is possible. What is happening there? Maximum is seven, eight. Just look, Sergey. Did it pop out? Yes, that's all. It just burned out. Here's how it burned down. You can see. I open the door. This is terrible, guys. I hope the neighbors don't think anything. It stinks a lot, guys. The thing is, we have smoke detectors. If it works now, it will be very bad. What burned down here? By the way, the windings survived. These are brushes. What else? The board was on fire. It turns out that the brush assembly is out of order. This thing is so hot and it spins hard. It's jammed, look. I don't know what the voltage and current should be to burn those windings. It's very thick. I propose to disassemble the vacuum cleaner. This is our last test subject. Unlike everything else, it is quite powerful. 1,600 watts. I don't know if our setup is enough to take it apart to space speed. Imagine, if there is such an engine here at 400 watts, then what kind of motor is in the vacuum cleaner? What will be the windings? Wow! It's just a small motor. At maximum speed, it will suck in everything that is around. <laughs> the universe! Wow! Just look at this turbine! Cool! Look! There is a double rubber band here. Also some fabric. But it's pretty small. The brushes are also very small. Does it even work? Turn it on! Come on! You heard? You hear? 
Yes. Already sucking. Mama mia. Now it's going to be noisy. I'm not spinning it. It just accelerates. It looks like something is starting to break down. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Eleven. This is fine. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. No response, I think. Turn it off. Sound is so bad. Someone called me and I didn't even notice. So, we took out the motor from this vacuum cleaner. Look, there is a skirt on the turbine. We'll film it now. Keep up the good work. Ready. Inside is an aluminum turbine. This part rotates. But the plastic one. Look, the blades of this one are torn off. See, not all blades are in place. Yes, the turbine is useless here. That's why it made such an unpleasant harsh sound. It's okay. Now we will remove the turbine and it will vacuum like a monster. Just one nut. Take it off. Like this. One aluminum. And one plastic. Here are the pieces of blades, they were scattered around. Now you know how a vacuum cleaner turbine works. Cool, look how interesting this is. Also broken. Everything is ready for overclocking. What do you think? Will it accelerate without a turbine? I think without the turbine, it will be crazy. The turbine was such a loud sound. About 30,000 revolutions per minute. Yes, it's insane. Like ultrasound. Guys, we decided to tie this with a wire. Because this is a very powerful motor. It can fly out and break the tiles. It'll be bad. This is very evil. What's up with the spectrum? This is the sound of 10 kilohertz. Just like an airplane engine. What was it? Something flew out. I saw it. There. It's very loud. What was it? Look, there are some pieces around. Plus it's hot. What is this? Something flew out of it. I have seen. Look, maybe it's a winding? It's metal. Or look, here is the spring. Those brushes are out, right? Look, guys, the brushes are broken. I thought that if there are no sparks of smoke and dust, but this sound was just awful. It felt like we were taking off somewhere. Here too, and in general. Look, the entire brush assembly is broken. You can see how it swelled up. Look at the color. Here's what the pad should look like. Lots of broken contacts. Show me what it's like here. There's no! There the collector exploded. I didn't see it at first. You see, there are no contacts at all. In short, it just flew out. You saw for yourself what cotton was like. Inside is now empty. I didn't expect this. You have found so many already. This is holding on to regular plastic. It's understandable why it's broke. Imagine that in the comments someone says, I need a brush, send me one of these. The windings did not have time to heat up at all. Who could have known that centrifugal force would break it? Well, guys, write in the comments what you want us to overclock to maximum speed in the next series. And we'll make it.